New details tonight on the arrest of a suspect in a brutal attack at a Brevard County Park. A woman pulled from a car, beaten and raped. Today, that man faced a judge for the first time. New 6's James Barvero talked with prosecutors about the evidence they say links this suspect to the crime. Entering this parking lot, pulling a woman out of her car, beating and raping her. Prosecutors say they have the evidence against 36-year-old Harry Page to make sure he can't harm anyone else the rest of his life. This is a case where the hand of science has come to the aid of the trembling hand of the victim. DNA evidence and good police work making this picture possible, according to state prosecutors. Is everything you're about to tell the court the whole truth to help you God? 36-year-old Harry Page, a convicted rapist who served 13 years in prison for a 2001 attack near Tampa, now facing many more decades behind bars. Based on his prior record, if convicted, he faces a mandatory life sentence. Hightower Beach Park, just after sunset, February the 12th. Police say a woman was parked in her car reading when Paige pulled her out, punched her, and smashed her head against the concrete before sexually assaulting her. Police say Paige threatened to kill the woman if she didn't comply. You're charged with attempted first degree felony murder. She fought back though, biting his lip and battery. scratching his face. Paige took off but left behind a towel. The woman gave it to police. Investigators say it matched Paige's DNA on file from his attack 16 years ago. This was just more evidence of why DNA works so well. Paige remains at the Brevard County Jail without bond. The court does consider Mr. Page as a danger to the community. His next court date will be his arraignment scheduled for next month. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.